Last year, got a boat captain's license here in Japan. I studied for it with my friend Mitch. Originally got it for a project, but instead started renting boats and exploring the rivers of Tokyo since it's not something that everyone can do and it's kind of awesome. Tokyo has a lot of waterways, by the way, like way more than I could possibly put into one video. So today we're doing part two and we are out on the water again. It is a very hot summer day in Tokyo, but I promised Mitch that I'm going to show him the waterways of Tokyo. He's convinced it can't possibly be as good as the Bay of Kagoshima. Well, I don't know. It's, we'll it's, see. We'll there's, see. There's, there's a lot to see. There's a lot. You know what? Let's just, let's just get going. We're gonna have to pass through some of this later in order to get down to Haneda Airport. We're going to Haneda Airport. You don't want to go to Haneda Airport? Uh, is that okay? We can go to Haneda Airport. We can watch the planes come in. Wow. Okay, let's do that. That's Odaiba, isn't it? That yeah yeah, that's Odaiba down there. The airport's just down there. Okay. Before we hit up the airport, though, why don't we jump into some of the back canals and like go through like Nihonbashi and Akihabara and all that stuff? That sounds awesome. The area we're going to go in is right behind us, okay. but once we get in there, we've really got to reduce speed and we've got to watch on the side of the boat. It's not super, super narrow, but it's narrow enough that if you get too far to the side on low tide, you can do damage. Okay. A few months ago, I did a video on the waterways of Tokyo. Yeah. I'll link it at the end as well. But that gives you kind of a peek of just how vast the Tokyo waterways are. It was a maze. Are. It, it was is. An absolute maze. It is. And you've memorized it. I don't know if memorized, I'm getting used to it. I'm, I'm still used getting it. used to it. It's a work in progress. It is definitely a work in progress. But I chose this area because there's a ton of bridges and we're under shade for a very good portion oh, of all of it. Shade would be much appreciated. Shade, shade. Nice. Look at the timing of that too. Right? <laughs> I could have timed it better. It wasn't on purpose either. <laughs> but we got like the big bridges up here and whatnot. Yeah, it's crazy seeing everything from the river, you know. Mm. Like, I mean, driving over the river, like that's something we're all used to. Like going under it on the river. That's just, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like, I, I'm, I don't think anybody's really experienced anything like this. You know what my favorite part about this is though? What? This hour, hour and a half road that we're about to do, yeah. I haven't done it yet. Uh-oh. I've never done this. Why are you uh-ohing? Uh -oh. It's exciting. I've never gotten to see this before. You're the exciting goes out and hangs out with bears. Tokyo Lens Norm. I'm like the uh-oh guy. <laughs> So we've got a little guard ship here for the construction and they wave us through and let us know what to watch out for and whatnot. Right now we're in the really wide area of this so it's not bad at all. But when we get into like the super narrow areas we've got to be really careful because it gets really shallow on the sides. Underwater there, like we could hit that if we're not careful. Oh yeah. That's what we've got to watch out for. The tide is kind of high right now. So it's just covering and it's stone. It's yeah. not an unforgiving stone. Okay, that's kind of, that's interesting. Look how low these bridges are. <laughs> Honestly, this is, I don't need the sunglasses right now. This is exactly as awesome as I thought it would be. Getting to come through here, like I am loving this space. Mitch's first question when we got in here was, these, these boats have insurance, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I asked him, I was like, is this boat insured? This that, is... I think that part behind us is the most difficult part with all the, the poles and- Never mind. <laughs> this doesn't look easier, Norm. I'm actually really glad that I brought you along on this one, Mitch, just because if I do run into something, if I, if I do run aground, at least I won't be alone. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something nice, like you help, you're helping me or something. <laughs> I'm always really tempted to go into those. You can't, don't. Don't. Uh, don't, don't go into those. But they look really cool and I feel like they would lead to the worst adventure ever. <laughs> <The> worst adventure. <laughs> like look at this here. <laughs> How cool is that? It's like Tokyo underground. This is nuts. It's like we're in some like... It's like we're in some like hidden world. We are in a hidden world, Nor. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So are you starting to feel like Tokyo might have a slight edge over Kinko Bay? Okay. You can't compare them. They're different things. They're different <laughs> things, okay? Like, we don't have the obstacle course in Kinko Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Look behind you. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> this is... This is unique. This is very unique. <laughs> People walking up there, living their lives, and... Here we are on the river. Here we are on the river. But it kind of, it's like a subterranean, like, river. You know what I mean? Because it has this giant overpass. So it's almost like a river in a cave. Everyone's looking down like, wait. Like, what? Wait, you can go through there on a boat? Yeah, like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, yeah, you can. What is the secret staircase for? They're warped, too. <laughs> Like spots like this, with the light just kind of cutting through. I was noticing that as we were like, as we were like riding around, looking up at the bridges, the, the reflection of the water was really cool. I'm also loving that you brought me a bottle of water. <laughs> I had a bottle of water, and you're like, that's not gonna be enough. It was not enough. It was not enough <laughs> at all. You but know, at least we were just able to stay out of the sun for like hours. For hours. Now, I mean. It's, I mean, it's, it's kind of high noon right now, so it's a little hot, but it's still, it's all right. I mean, cause like... Is it still noon? I feel like it's way later than noon. We're like, it's low. It is 2 p.m. No way. <laughs> yes. It is 2 p.m. Okay. I just never get over the excitement of boating through Akihabara. <laughs> like, we're in Akihabara right now. I mean, like, walking through here is enough. Boating through here, different level. So this spot here, we've got to go to dead slow, make no wake. Otherwise, we can obviously damage the other boats, but this is one of my favorite spots to go through. And since we're getting closer to evening, a lot of the owners are coming out and starting to prep their boats for the night. No, they seriously, it's like, I just keep thinking fifth element every time I look at these. <laughs> that is officially Mitch's new favorite boat. It looks like it's from 20,000 leagues under the sea or something like that, you know? <laughs> it's interesting how all the bridges have such dissimilar architecture. Like, they're all super original, you know what I mean? Every single bridge is just a little bit different. We've stopped because there was a ton of traffic. There was like... Traffic jam! There was a traffic jam, so we're just waiting out the traffic jam. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little hungry. Dude, famished. Famished? Famished. Okay, I have an idea. Since you're not super familiar with Tokyo, yeah. I'm guessing you don't know about the Hamariku Gardens? Nope. They're nice. That's my whole story. Okay. <laughs> it's one of the few places in all of Tokyo where you're 100% cool to just drop anchor and hang out. Really? This is, especially during weekends, this ends up being a big boat hangout spot. Really? You know what? Big question. Do you remember how to do the anchor? Let's see. Uh, rope is three times the depth. Yes. And you cast from the front. Okay. And you're supposed to point your boat in the direction of the wind. Yep. I think that's all. Okay. Feels about right. <laughs> I put her in neutral. Yeah. We're pretty much facing the wind now. Okay. So, anchor's in here. We've got a depth of about five meters here, but we only really need about one and a half times that here. Here you are. Four, five, six, seven. Want to tie this off here? Yep. Oh, dude, I don't remember this. Around, over, what? So done. Okay. Okay. All right, so you just want to go around like that. And then oh. I'll get like that. Okay. There we go. Good distance from everything. There she goes. A quick break to have some snacks and give some love to our sponsors, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. This is a sponsored section, but the hunger is real. I love that you brought snacks. Of course I brought snacks. They are 
both subscription snack boxes. But the big difference being that Tokyo Treat gives you as many as 20 limited edition seasonal or exclusive snacks, while Sakurako here focuses heavily on authentic traditional artisanal snacks and teas. Each box has a monthly theme. Tokyo Treat's theme this month is Sugoi Summer, which just feels appropriate. You know, what do you want? Just dig in, take out anything that you want, it's yours. Dude, I think I'm gonna go to Kit Kat, check that out. <laughs> Cafe Ole Kit Kat. And we kept it in the cooler so they didn't melt. Yeah, they're yes. so cool. <laughs> the Sakura Ko's theme is Okinawa Retreat. Have you been to Okinawa yet? Not yet. Neither have I. <laughs> Okinawa being Japan's most southern region, for those of you who don't know. And this box partners with the Ogimi Villages, which apparently have the world's highest life expectancy rate. Now, a lot of the stuff here in the Sakura Ko box is actually made to be paired with teas. There are always really good teas in here. I have never... Sampincha. Huh. wonder what that is. How are, have you, you haven't even tried it yet? Am I allowed to? Yes, yeah, go can. Can. Yes. It tastes like coffee over there. Does it? No. Glad we brought these. A huge thanks to Tokyo. <laughs> Everything will be linked in the description box below. Dude, check this out. Look. Woo. I called dibs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the sponsor segment. We're just we're just snacking. Wow, that melted fast. I don't know, right? You gotta eat it fast. It was like cold when we took it out, and now it's like melted, melted. It's summer in Tokyo, bro. By the way, it is currently 36 degrees here in Tokyo. That yacht, boat, whatever you want to call it behind you. Yeah. They are in here all the time. One dude is playing the guitar just yeah. now. Just, just. What, they just chill? They just chill here in the Hamadi Q Gardens and enjoy their boat. I would too if I had that boat. That's cool. It's a nice boat. Yeah. Let's see if we can't make it out closer to the, uh, what's it called? Airport? Airport is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I haven't gone out there yet either. Okay, it's gonna be so. an adventure. So legend has it, if you get the right winds on the right day in the right location at Haneda Airport, you can park the boat and have planes coming right overhead. We're a little bit outside of that time zone, but I, I couldn't not take Mitch to the airport. Are you excited about airport, Mitch? I am. I've yeah. never actually been on the outside of Haneda Airport in the ocean. Because you're leaving, what, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I leave the day after tomorrow. <laughs> we should have just coordinated those. Yeah, well, we, uh, <laughs> we probably should have. Right there. This is actually much closer than I expected to get to it. Yeah, we're like on the landing strip. It's like yeah. right there. <laughs> it is literally right there. Like we've got planes coming overhead right like this. Wow, not too bad at all. What is this? What is this? No. No, you gotta unfold it. You gotta unfold it. I gotta, okay. I have to do an unfurling. An unfurling. I gotta, I gotta hold it like this. Okay. So everyone else is gonna see it before me. Is that yes. okay? Yes. All right. All right, now I gotta look at it. Official captain. No, wait, did you have this like special made? Yeah, look, so it says official captain and the boat is there. Yeah, but the, the plane hasn't been filled in yet. Work in progress. <laughs> you had that special made? Yeah. That is so cool. That is, all right. The, the, the plane might take a while. There's, there's a lot of stuff to learn. It's coming though. That is awesome. Thank you, man. Did you just wait for us to get out to the airport so you could, while we're on a boat so that you could give me a shirt that like... It was perfect. The most incredible part of this to me is you didn't even know before you got here today that we'd be coming out to the airport. It just all worked out. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move this forward a little bit. We're gonna get out from... I'm gonna get out from under this. You know what, I should be drinking water before I forget. <laughs> We're gonna take some back canals back to the marina because at some point we're actually gonna need to return this boat. Yeah, we do need to, I think we'll have it back in like 25 minutes or something. 
during that video where we did the whole cherry blossoms thing, let me kill that for a second. Everyone really enjoyed Emmy because Emmy knows everything about every canal and every waterway. Uh, There's two things is like the sailboat from outside. So that's the why the carving and the color changes. Huh. There's just so many little things that I otherwise wouldn't know or notice without Emmy and there's another plane coming and I'm happy about the plane. Mitch really wanted to get like a boat and park it until we found out, especially in Tokyo, how much it costs. Yeah, how much was that? It was like, cause in, in Kinko One in, in Kagoshima, it's like free. They're Basically, like, yeah. it's like $5 a year. And they said for Tokyo, there are no, there's basically no spots available to park a boat anymore. And the ones they do have are bid at as high as 18,000. That's a year, right? A year to park your boat. So. Oh my god, check this out. <laughs> Thank How you. Was your day? It was good. good. It was good. So, Kinkowan or Tokyo, which is more exciting? Exciting, here. Okay. Right. So, Relaxing, so, Kinko Bay. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. There's a lot of things you can take a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I mean, next time you yes. absolutely have to take us out on the water and of show course. us everything you know. How much of Tokyo waterways? Like, what percentage do you think we saw today? I think a lot, but it probably wasn't hardly any. We saw a lot, but that was probably just scratching the surface. Maybe 30 to 40 percent.